Icelandic Prime Minister Sigmundur Gunnlaugsson has become the first casualty of the Panama Papers leak. Gunnlaugsson resigned just hours after the country's president, Olafur Ragnar Grimson, declined the Prime Minister's request for a dissolution of Parliament in the face of a looming no-confidence vote and protests. He said, I was not ready to agree to that request until I had a discussion with the leaders of the other parties on their stand. I do not think it's normal that the Prime Minister alone should be given the authority to dissolve the Parliament without the majority of the Parliament being satisfied with that decision. A government spokesman said that the claims against Iceland's collapsed banks held by the firm owned by the Prime Minister's wife, in which he also temporarily held a stake, totaled more than 500 million Icelandic crowns, or 4.1 million U.S. The, pres the pressure on Mr. Gunnlaugsson to step it down had been building since then, with thousands of people protesting outside the Parliament building in the capital on Monday and opposition parties tabling a confidence motion. Earlier on Tuesday, the Prime Minister had asked the President Olafar uh, Ragnar Grimson to dissolve the Parliament and call an early election. A lot of people are claiming that this is some kind of a, a victory, a, a revolution. They got one of the pro-bankers out of government. But I would, would like to remind those people that all they really did was get a politician to step down and another one is going to take his place. The capitalism won't be defeated simply by shaming one person out of office because they can just get another one to go back in. So people shouldn't be taking this as some kind of a sign that revolution is possible because of the Panama Papers. All they're really telling us is that the richest, most powerful people in the world hide their money. And frankly, that shouldn't be any news to anyone. Everybody already knows that. Nothing radically different is going to come out of this. Thank you for watching. Why don't you go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media. And if you want, you can head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can head over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.